Good afternoon, tubers. Back to tinkering with our bullnose here. Um, so in my Discord chat with a couple of a um, couple of you who have I have not deleted from that channel. <laughs> um, uh, well, one of you I know is Todd, and another one of you has mentioned oh, you should remove that topper, and I've been wanting to remove it actually, and. I'm pretty sure in the last video, I'm recording this before I even posted the first video, but I'm pretty sure um, you guys aren't going to want this topper. I mean, it's kind of, I'm not really a big fan of this style, of this aluminum. I mean, look at that, it's like a piece of tin. I'm a big fan of that canopy right there I got on my 82. That one's a fiberglass one, and it's got a little more weight to it, which helps with traction. I can still slide around, but, you know, that one's a little nicer. It's not cracked. Um, this one has got some broken bits. Um, I thought about actually cannibalizing this part so I can put it on that canopy. Maybe even putting this window on there all together. Oh, I think I just put all these stickers on here. But, you know, oh well. Yeah, I've got plenty of Summit stickers. Rude Dog can send me another one. And that, you know, oh, whatever. But I was wondering, we could almost swap. Yeah, we can't swap windows. But I'll swap the locks and maybe have my uncle make a lock for it, or key. So, I think what we'll do is uh, maybe we'll back the truck in and um, sweep all this out. Or maybe I'll just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Back it up to the side of the yard and just sweep it out. It's just gotta turn into dirt anyways. Yeah, we need to get this, we should just take this canopy off. It's just, it's old and kinda raggedy. And it's not even on here right, it's too far forward. So, you know, even if that little lift strut's not in the way, it doesn't shut all the way and you can't latch it, so. And I kind of want to see this truck without a canopy. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna have to swap batteries here. This big battery I got on this camera is starting to die. So I'll put it on the put it on the charger. Um, one thing I want to see: will this thing fire up? Oh boy! Oh. What a piece of shit! It's fired right up. for a little bit. It's also got a vacuum leak in the booster. So, uh, that certainly doesn't help. This has got on or off. So, I have another module for this. So we can convert it to um, intermittent wipers and then we'll just need to get a new switch for it. Power steering is back to normal. So, put some fluid in it. Oh, yeah, this air box blew a lot of debris out of there. See, it's already idling down. You hear that hissing? That's when you hear that, that's your brake booster. So, let's see. Um, should we just take the canopy off now and try and walk it over to the trailer? I really don't want to drive this a whole lot because I don't have uh, I don't have my stuff on it yet. <clears throat> and I'm trying not to spend really any money on it yet because I got to transfer the title and stuff. 
I, I want to push the clutch in on this. Let's, uh... Well, there's no point in really rolling this window down, is there? I was gonna like, oh, let me clear it, you know? <laughs> the seal's all gone. Um, the wipers... She looks like she's got wipers on since uh, 2003. Okay. We've got reverse. We're just gonna take her right around the corner here. Um, something I wanna try and get to today is taking the throttle body apart and seeing if we can uh, free it up. Some big potholes. This uh, I don't know how old the shocks are on it. It's a little, a little wallowy, but um, it um rides pretty good. The brakes are really nice on this truck, though. Uh, let's see. Really don't want to. I'm gonna be that guy and block the thing. Actually, really, all I want to do is I want to back it up into this area right here. And sweep out the, the stuff. Uh, I think we'll be fine. We'll just inch her out. This thing does not want to stay. How does one see with these mirrors? Okay. We might be uh, doing some blend door stuff. The floor's working. This is different than the one in my truck. I'm still getting heat out the dash. I wonder if. Uh, Okay, we're gonna have to look into that. We might be putting some blend doors in this thing, which... You know, that's an 82 and I don't have any problems like that. These windows are all up a lot better than my freaking truck does. I put 20 bucks in it and almost filled it. 
Um, so I think the centers are, are working. Um, I don't know if the, s the switch is probably gonna need some love, maybe even replaced. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tacos. Crunchy tacos wrapped in nacho cheese sauce and a tortilla. Available in three bold flavors for just one dollar each. Try them today only on Taco Bell's Cravings Value Menu. A secret. We say you Both can. are working. And you don't have time to sweat the small stuff. With Secret Outlast, you get 48 hours of best-in-class odor and wetness protection. So before you take out that loan to start your own business, head to that rally. The tune button's gone. Ha! I had it. So, unfortunately, it's another rainy day today. Um, these all look the same. Got a bigger one in the back, but it's probably a 13. Let's see. Let's try a 16 for a second there. Possibly a 14. Let's see a 14. That's it. Not wasting no time. See why our tailgate's panel is bulging in the middle. It needs uh it's got a big dent here, so I think what we'll do maybe we'll get a hammer and just hammer that back so it pulls the tailgate panel in a little tighter. You know, went into town for lunch, no rain, and uh come home, a lot of rain. So I'm gonna Special jacket here, formerly known as a rain jacket. Don't need this no more. You guys want to see what the right height is before we take that canopy off? about 31 and a half. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this off and just kind of bring it down and then maybe just carry it on its side over to the bed trailer and then throw it up on it and then just clamp it back down. <laughs> Mm-hmm.
looks a bit campy. like a truck now. This is why you need to strap your stuff down. So we could actually hammer that part of the cab back in. Um, I would like to do it without breaking this window. Um, you know, the bed rail here might have to get creative with trying to straighten that back out. I'm not too concerned with it actually. Um, but if we wanted to fix it, there's ways to fix it. So let's see where we're at. So let me show you on the ruler. I'm not a professional at reading rulers. When we were, uh, we we're just before this half mark here. I think anyways. You guys remember where we were at? Okay, so we went up a quarter inch. Yeah, so not too bad. It, weighed, it probably weighs like 100 pounds, 150, 200 tops. It's not too bad. So honestly, I'll probably just pick it up on its side and drag it over and then finagle it on the on the thing. So yeah, I kind of like that a lot better. The truck's missing something though. It needs something. Uh, on the fender wells, I think. Even, or even maybe putting a line like that and some some kind of flareage on it. I don't need too big of a fender flare. So yeah. I, I don't like these. I really don't. And I think it would be kind of easy for us to... Yeah, I think we could get mirrors like that. And put that on there. as long as that bottom part doesn't interfere with uh, so the stripe goes on top of the light we're on the bottom of the light huh I wonder I wonder if that'll fit hmm well whatever it is we got to put some kind of mirror, better mirror on this this is unacceptable completely useless I know even if we just put some OBS, you know, the black plastic mirrors on here, the little ones that stick out that are bigger than this, I'll be fine with that. But Adam pointed this out last night. What is up with this mirror? Like this mirror is, you have to have it like right here. It's like, I don't, I don't get it. It's, and it's different than the other one. So. Not, not too sure about that one. So yeah, let's see how clean is our 302 running. That's all we, just a little bit of carbon there and some mostly rust actually. It was burning really clean when I when it was running, so I think the catalytic converter is still intact, which is surprising. So we need to get a a strap for this. From the looks of it, maybe we should get two new ones. So I'll have an order from LMC Truck I'll, I'll put in. The one crappy thing about this truck doesn't have a trailer hitch. Um, it does have a spare tire though. It's probably never been used. It probably won't even come out of there. <clears throat>
just barely warming up. We're still cold on the radiator here. <clears throat> Not even. Yeah. So, we can do a couple things. We can remove this throttle body. Um, which I don't necessarily want to do just yet. What I'd like to do is actually remove these uh, intake tubes altogether, which just consist of four little hose clamps. So why don't we go ahead and pop that off and we'll spray some carbon choke or some throttle body cleaner in there. And you know, we already sprayed up here with WD 40, and that didn't really, you know, that it kind of worked, but um, I want to try and spray in there and see if maybe there's some varnish or something. So, maybe a little bit later in this video, I'll just give you guys a little undercarriage shot. Uh, this has really no oil leaks other than the valve covers. See, I want to get some gloves on. My gloves, are, my hands are already kind of dirty. I got to buy more of these black gloves from Harbor Freight. They're relatively inexpensive, and they're super thick. And I, I think I've only tore one, and that kind of it took a, a bit. Okay, let's get that one off. 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 It's weird how they did this double double intake tube thing. I never quite understood it. Or even putting the air box on top of the engine for that matter. Okay, I'll get this out of here. You smell a little bit of oil, but that's from the uh, PCV valve. Uh, let's see. I know one thing. My uh, that's the temp sender for the gauge. Wish I had some more light. I think that it's normal. But my uh, temperature gauge is not working on the dash, and it's possible that that's a faulty sender. And then this one right here is probably going to be for the computer. Now look how small the intake manifold is compared to a 351. A 351 is much bigger. I'm leaking a little bit of coolant out of that bolt down there. Um, it looks like someone has done heads on this before. So I was able to see some fairly new looking um, head gasket material sticking out down there. Could just be me, but I'm wondering that maybe somebody did head work on this. Just looking to see if we got anything that's out of the way. We got a brand new ignition coil down there. Uh, it's like a replacement ignition control module down there. So somebody's done a lot of work to it and it, you know because of it it runs really well. Uh, yeah let's see if we can uh, and spray some carbon choke or uh, throttle body cleaner and see if we can do this thing up a little bit. So you've got Springs aren't that bad. 
that's pretty lightweight. And this one's kind of lightweight. Oh, yeah, you can set the idle. Hmm. I don't, I don't know why that's so stiff. It's just doesn't, it just doesn't seem right. Pop that off. That's easy. But what if we popped it off? Oh, actually, wait. I think this comes like that. Okay. This is pretty st stiff. Oh, that's much better. Click that back on there. Let's just work that. Let me go push on the gas pedal and see if that's any different. Yeah, that's, that's miles better. So, possibly we need to look at getting a new uh, throttle valve cable for the transmission. Because this other one's cruise control and this is going to be the transmission. Does this little cap pop off? Interesting. Okay, so it's the throttle valve cable for the transmission. It's really, really stiff. Huh, okay. Well, that's what that's all about. Good old V-belts. These look okay, so I'm not going to mess with them. We got one, two, three, four belts. I know some of you are going to be like, oh, you should delete that throttle valve or the air pump. Um, hey, you know what? If it works, it's going to stay there. What I haven't looked at is the radiator fluid, and so maybe we can pop that cap off and see what she looks like. Well, I can work with that. See, we gotta. I'm glad this doesn't have any parasitic drain while sitting, because uh, this sat overnight with that yellow top in here connected to it, and uh, she fired right up. Might take a little while, you know. It's probably got to prime its fuel system a little bit, and and then fire up. We got all the AC stuff right here, just tied up in all kinds of crap all in the spark plug wires let's get this let's reroute this let's 
see, and this comes like this over here. I'm going to clean this up. Yeah, we'll be doing a harness tidying up on this thing just to make it look nice and clean. It's not too bad. It's not scabby. Nothing's too bad. But anything in the engine bay, I want to make sure it's all nice and taped up and clean and whatnot. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape this whole thing up. This is like a this is a diode. I'm not going to take tape up the diode too much. because this probably needs to breathe a little bit. So there, that's a little bit cleaner. Let's go. I'll probably end up zip tying this. I do want to get the AC working in this truck, and we're going to figure out how to do that. It is an R12 system, but we'll probably just convert it on over. A little overwhelmed yesterday, and now today I have some time to think around. But last night before going, calling it a night, we found that the vacuum hose going to here, from here, is rotted away. So I'm going to need to uh, maybe go to the junkyard and get some more of this stuff. Or find a truck that's got a good vacuum harness right here. And we'll just, yeah, it's just got a little grommet. We'll just pop those hoses out of there and um, swap them out. So yeah, that's that. Let's get this out of the way. My garage is a complete mess. When have I not said that? I ran my little uh, OBD1 uh, connector thing I'm gonna do on there. And uh, we had no codes. All this wiring is so clean and intact. Um, I did find this. This is a problem, so we really just need a new elbow. And then we can reconnect that. So this is the purge line. Um, and this goes up here. Oh, we're gonna need to replace this line. So I'm not sure, but I think this reel that I got here is what we need. They've got kind of a adapter thing that kind of goes up a size. Let's see if I can get the line right here. We can get this stuff, it's pretty soft. If I can get it to fit over this, which I won't. Shit. Hmm, what are we gonna do? Cause that's like a 3 8 this is, this is a quarter inch. I think we've got it kind of sized up. This is the little piece that goes in that nylon line. Damn, that's a kind of a weird piece. I mean, look at that. <laughs> um, but this fuel line fits right over that barb, so we can replace some of this anyways. Let's see, we got... I think I scored pretty good on this uh, truck here. This is a really good run. 302 that we got here. Now aside from the 4.6 in the town car, this is the best 
running overhead valve gas engine I've personally owned. Um, my 351 that was in the Brown 82 over there, um, that was not a happy camper. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with that it was just tired. Um, and the timing was probably way off. Just try and get this separated. I don't want to break the break the nipple. There we go. So now we'll just take this piece here. First of all, we need a little bit of help. This is fun, isn't it, Tubes? I've been really wanting to get another one of these trucks, mostly just to work on and just fix up and and use for whatever. Um, if I had the room and more money, I'd be. I would like to also have a new truck, uh, just for shits and giggles. But hey, I got two trucks now, right? I get modular crew cab status here. No, but I have my Ford Fusion. That's my passenger vehicle. It'd be nice to have a a. Uh, more suitable truck for hauling passengers around, but you know, you got room for your other half, the dog or cat, and you know, maybe that's just good enough. Maybe not the dog. So we'll just cut a little more we need. I love this thing. So let's see. Let's get this stabbed on here. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm gonna come back here in a minute. I'm gonna try and think of something for this. Let's cut a little bit more than we need. I love that thing. God, it just makes nice straight cuts. Like that was done with a pair of pliers, and that's done with the hose cutter. So we have an identical piece. And the problem is, is that it it's a hot dog down a hallway. We could put a clamp on that, but do we really want to do that? Or do we want to just run the risk of running this? I think what I'll do is I'll just wipe it off and I'll just wrap it in electrical tape, which will kind of protect it. Or at least that's kind of the idea. Maybe we'll do that. Because it's not torn. Yeah, this is like a special molded piece. What we would have to do is get a couple of adapters, which would be stupid, but. Or some kind of reducer or whatever, it'd be a little ridiculous. Yeah. Sorry about my nose tubes. I'm gonna have to blow it here in a minute. You know what sucks about having a long bed truck and a long bed trailer readily available? It's when someone needs to move. Okay, and then I'm gonna do something else that's probably overkill. You guys don't have a holder, a wall holder for your torch? You need to get one. There we go. I'm gonna go put this away. Yeah, there. So now at least we don't have a leaking vacuum line there. Um, let's see, how are we gonna fix that one down here? I'd like to have all this working. This is all I got for now. I have a T. 
just put a little Ford interior screw in there and that's pretty tight I don't think that's gonna leak so yeah that's that's gonna be unnoticeable so I'll roll with this for now um, let's see I think yeah we'll just have to roll with what we got here there's some slack there so so we don't break this off in the line here oh, actually uh, wait let's see if we I have a brand new Craftsman, made in China, guys here. There we go. Nice. Hey, we're pretty good. And uh, you know, my garage may be a mess, but I keep a garbage can in here. Just throw stuff away and it just makes for one less mess. Like this whole piece of hose here. I'll just throw that away. Oh. I might have to get some different T-fittings. Before we call it a day, I want to look at that radiator fluid, see what it looks like. And then, uh, let's have a peek underneath, shall we? The one thing I don't like is this crappy little fix they got going on here. <laughs> I don't know what... what this is all about. Might try and find an actual cap for that. Yeah, horn on this doesn't work. I have yet to check to see if we got power there. Um, so that's the thing. Motor rad, let's see. Got a little pressure there. Looks like it might be a tad low. Oh yeah, she's really low. tips I didn't show you this the other night but let's show you what we got going on here yep it's a two-wheel peeler and probably gonna stay that way but look at this 
Look at this engine, it's like dry under here. And it's only wet because of the power steering. Well, we got ball joints were done at some point. We got brand new brake hoses. And then it looks like it might have had new calipers put on it and it's got fresh brake pads. Um, I haven't taken any of the wheels off to look at the rotors, see if those are new, but it brakes pretty smooth, so I'm, not, I'm gonna leave it alone. They've done steering stuff. There's some, well, I haven't checked that drag link out yet, but the tie rod ends are newer-ish. Hey, you wanna put the key in the uh, on position and then wiggle the steering wheel? Yeah. Let's see what we got going on down here. Oh yeah. Is it goofy? That drag link is blown out. I keep wiggling it. Is it just like major play? Yeah, the drag link at the steering box is toast. I'm not surprised. Okay, so that's why the steering's sloppy. So we'll get a new drag link for it. Tie rod ends looked okay and while it has the original pivot bushings, they didn't move a whole lot, so we can leave that alone for now. I'll probably still get a bushing kit for it just so we can put that to a normal spec. It's got some crusty looking springs, the shocks. They're okay. I might get a new set for it at some point, but it's it's okay. You got the spring blues? Um, I see a wiring harness hanging from the transmission cross It probably just needs to be reclipped back in. But yeah, factory Ford exhaust on this thing. It's kind of amazing. It's actually really weird. Yeah. Remember my truck was this complete bastard. Yeah. With that, with the extenders. Oh, that's stupid. The Henline <laughs> 6. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I tidied a few things out. We replaced a couple of vacuum hoses. Oh yeah, you got the clear hose there. Um, Is that actual way to actually work? What actuated? The, the, the one right there. You fix. You put the hose on there. Oh yeah, that I haven't tested <laughs> it yet. I'm like, what? Oh yeah, I haven't. I haven't tried it yet, but it will probably work. Uh, so yeah, I think that's gonna be kind of it for right now. I am done. Everything I want to do to this today. Um, I'll end up putting the canopy on the trailer here in a little bit. Um, but so yeah, we got the throttle body thing figured out. It's. Um, Adam doesn't know this, but it's not the throttle body. It's the throttle valve cable for the transmission. It's very stiff. Oh, so it was clean? Yeah, so I took that off, and then this moves freely. And yeah, that's clean inside. Oh. I sprayed it anyways with throttle body cleaner. So and it's, it's just going to always be super stiff. Well, I sprayed some lube down that cable there, and it's gotten better. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's... It's, oh, it's still kind of stiff, but it's better than what it, when, it, when, it, when, it, when I first got it. Cause you could barely touch the gas pedal or push on it. There's no pushing on it. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to order a booster. That might be the original booster on that. Well, with all that rust, yeah, probably. Yep. So yeah, we got some stuff to do. Nothing too major though. Engine transmission is solid, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. It's charging fine, running okay. You know, except for the booster causing a vacuum leak. Uh, we got a steering component that's shit the bed. Um, yeah. Well, before we go, let's uh, let's do our first LED conversion. Let me put the lights on. All right, I got some LEDs here. Check that out. Yeah, there we go. I might need to put a new pigtail on it, which I have. That's working. 
that out before it burns the crap out of you. Oh yeah, there we go. I gotta go over and look on the neighbor's camera here in a little bit. Of course this plug does not want to go in there. Yeah, there we go. It's a little better. Nice and bright. I might get new lenses for this thing like I did my 82. But that ought to do for now. Alright dudes. See you later.